Throughout history, the perturbated the imagination of inventors and thinkers. From the enigmatic devices of Johann Ernst Elias Bessler in the 17th century to modern discussions of gravity-powered systems, the concept of achieving energy over unity, generating more energy than is input, has remained a controversial yet enduring topic. At the heart of these debates lies a profound question, can gravity, a ubiquitous force of nature, be harnessed as a free energy source through clever mechanical design? The Legacy of Bessler's Wheel Johann Bessler, a German inventor, gained fame for his supposed perpetual motion supposed perpetual motion machines, which he demonstrated to skeptical audiences. His designs, shrouded in secrecy, were said to involve internal mechanisms that leveraged gravity to sustain motion indefinitely. Bessler's work attracted scrutiny from prominent scientists of his time, including Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, but the inner workings of his machines were never revealed. Modern science dismisses his claims as fraudulent, however, the principles behind his devices continue to inspire researchers exploring overunity in mechanics. A modern gravity-based overunity mechanism. The flywheel and roller system represents a contemporary attempt to achieve overunity by utilizing gravity. This design features a flywheel with internal rollers enclosed in tubes, where gravity's influence on the rollers generates rotational force. Key to its operation are the following principles. Rolling versus dropping stress. When a load rolls over a structure, it exerts significantly less stress than when dropped, minimizing energy losses and enabling smoother energy transfer. This principle applies to the rollers moving within the flywheel. Optimal speed and mass. The rotational speed of the flywheel and the mass of the rollers are critical. A faster flywheel increases the kinetic energy available, while heavier rollers enhance the gravitational force exerted, improving efficiency. Tube design. The tubes housing the rollers require stress-bearing ends to absorb force and soft ends to reduce recoil, ensuring energy is efficiently transferred rather than dissipated. Initial conditions. Precise calculations of the starting positions and velocities of the rollers are necessary to establish a self-sustaining cycle. These considerations form the foundation of a mechanism that exploits gravity to generate motion. While critics dismiss such systems as violations of the laws of physics, proponents argue that these designs demonstrate unique applications of classical mechanics. Perpetual motion and overunity. The concept of perpetual motion remains contentious. Modern definitions often exclude overunity systems, asserting that no machine can operate indefinitely without energy loss. However, if overunity is defined as a system producing more usable energy than is input, then these designs merit consideration. The key to achieving overunity lies in the redistribution of forces within the system. Gravity acts as a constant source of potential energy, which, when combined with the kinetic energy of the rollers, creates a dynamic interplay that sustains motion. Proponents claim this interplay represents a form of free energy, energy derived from natural forces rather than external fuel sources. The old world, free energy, and the new world order. Historically, free energy technologies have often been linked to conspiracies of suppression. Advocates argue that such innovations threaten established economic systems reliant on fossil fuels and centralized energy distribution. This perspective aligns with broader concerns about the monopolization of technology in the emerging new world order. The concept of the new world order often intersects with discussions of free energy. As the World Economic Forum, WEF, predicts dramatic societal shifts by 2030, including the notion that individuals will own nothing and be happy, Questions arise about the control and accessibility of advanced technologies. Could free energy become the foundation of a new paradigm, or will it remain hidden, accessible only to an elite few? Lessons from History The Case of Tartaria Theories surrounding the lost civilization of Tartaria suggest that ancient societies may have harnessed free energy through sophisticated technologies. Proponents argue that structures like the Kaaba and other sacred geometries reflect advanced understanding of energy systems, potentially surpassing modern capabilities. While mainstream historians dismiss these claims, they highlight humanity's enduring fascination with rediscovering lost knowledge. There is a design consisting of flywheel there are rollers on a small tube. A properly designed and calculated device will harness the power of gravity. Many people suspect this structure is fake. But there are many demonstrations of this type of gravitational power harnessing device. After some research I found that the decisive factor to achieve overunity in classical mechanics is summarized as follows. 
the load stress on the bridge due to the load rolling over the bridge is much smaller than the stress caused if the same load suddenly fell on the bridge. This applies to a ball rolling on a tube. This fascinating feature has been part of engineering feature has been part of engineering courses at universities for decades. The speed of the flywheel must be fast enough. The speed of the roller is proportional to the rotation speed. If the roller rotates slowly, the force exerted by the roller will not be enough to overcome the forces, including friction and gravity inherent in the flywheel when in equilibrium. The weight of the ball or marble must be large enough to increase the force exerted on the flywheel. The tube design needs to have a stress-bearing end and a soft end to be elastic and reduce the rapid recoil of the marble. There are many solutions to the initial position of the marble when starting that are calculated based on the length of the tube, the mass of the flywheel, the mass of the marble, etc. In general, when imposing the velocity due to starting the flywheel, there will be some solutions in terms of the mind, just like an algebraic equation has a solution. Perpetual motion is possible on a circular disk with a special structure and it also depends on the definition of perpetual motion. If the criterion for defining perpetual motion is overunity, then perpetual motion is possible. Overunity occurs because there is a force that is absorbed by the circular disc or flywheel and twists it into the center of the flywheel. So this type of system can be said to be harvesting free energy from gravity. You can find two articles that analyze this based on mathematics and physics, along with design guidelines for generating electricity. The two articles are, Overunity and Mechanics. Kinetic energy sources with no input and no fuel, free energy at the classical mechanical level. And free energy equals rounding the square, over unity, from gravity occurs on the circle of sacred geometry. There is a design consisting of a flywheel there are rollers on a small tube. A properly designed and calculated device will harness the power of gravity. Many people suspect this structure is fake. But there are many demonstrations of this type of gravitational power harnessing device. After some research I found that the decisive factor to achieve overunity in classical mechanics is summarized as follows. The load stress on the bridge due to the load rolling over the bridge is much smaller than the stress caused if the same load suddenly fell on the bridge. This applies to a ball rolling on a tube. This fascinating feature has been part of engineering feature has been part of engineering courses at universities for decades. The speed of the flywheel must be fast enough. The speed of the roller is proportional to the rotation speed. If the roller rotates slowly, the force exerted by the roller will not be enough to overcome the forces, including friction and gravity inherent in the flywheel when in equilibrium. The weight of the ball or marble must be large enough to increase the force exerted on the flywheel. The tube design needs to have a stress-bearing end and a soft end to be elastic and reduce the rapid recoil of the marble. There are many solutions to the initial position of the marble when starting that are calculated based on the length of the tube, the mass of the flywheel, the mass of the marble, etc. In general, when imposing the velocity due to starting the flywheel, there will be some solutions in terms of the mind, just like an algebraic equation has a solution. Perpetual motion is possible on a circular disk with a special structure and it also depends on the definition of perpetual motion. If the criterion for defining perpetual motion is overunity, then perpetual motion is possible. Overunity occurs because there is a force that is absorbed by the circular disc or flywheel and twists it into the center of the flywheel. So this type of system can be said to be harvesting free energy from gravity. You can find two articles that analyze this based on mathematics and physics, along with design guidelines for generating electricity. The two articles are, Overunity and Mechanics. Kinetic energy sources with no input and no fuel, free energy at the classical mechanical level. And free energy equals rounding the square, over unity, from gravity occurs on the circle of sacred geometry.